In this video, I will show you how to make a hyper-realistic bell pepper carved cake. I have started rounding off the edges from a square cake. And with a piece of the cut-offs, I'm going to just build up the front of the cake a little bit more. I'll now start to shape the whole of the cake using the real pepper as a guide. I'll just take my time shaving off small pieces at a time, um, turning the cake, turning the pepper at the same time, continuously referring to the pepper as I carve away. I'm just building up the bottom um, a little bit more here. So again, adding a piece of cake and then just carving it and rounding off those edges. And now I'll start carving in the finer detail, adding more definition to the cake. I'll carve across the centre of the cake and fill with buttercream. I'm coating the whole surface of the cake with a nice firm ganache. And now I'll smooth over the whole surface, making sure I still have that definition that I've previously carved. It then needs to go into the fridge to set. So I've coloured the sugar paste yellow. This is because I can actually see yellow showing through on the real pepper but also because a coloured paste is easier to paint than a white paste. And now I'll smooth on the icing, taking care not to crease it and so moving the folds out gently so that I can smooth it on nice and neatly. Cutting away the excess paste 
I'm now going to scoop the cake up and gently smooth the paste underneath. I'm just smoothing out any fine creases here with the silicone tool. And now I'm just using the tool to smooth the paste into the creases and add in all the detail. I'm using the Dresden tool now just to enhance that detail a little bit more. To make the stalk I'm starting with green coloured flower paste and modelling it into a sausage shape allowing for a bulb to be left on the end. Just pinching out that bulb now to make it thinner. and thinning it more using the silicone tool. Just using the tool now to add a little bit of detail. And then just cutting away the sides so it's more of a hexagon type of shape. I'm thinning and curling the edges with a cocktail stick. And finally, adding some texture using the cocktail stick. So some nice fine lines down the length of the stalk and then just roughing up the end of it. I will leave it in place on the cake now and allow it to set. I've made a paint with sugar flare, poppy red, mixed with a strong alcohol. This will allow it to dry quicker. While it's still wet, I'm just going to use a soft brush to dab on the surface. This will soften out the brush strokes. I'm adding at least two layers of paint to this cake. 
When it's dry, I will spray at least two layers of edible glaze, allowing for each layer to dry. To paint the stalk, I'm using gooseberry mixed with alcohol. And now I'll attach it in place and remove some of the paint as it's looking a little bit dark. So just to tone down the colour, I'm removing the top layer of the paint. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe so that you can see more videos like this. If you have any recommendations for further tutorials, then please leave your comments below.